In this video, we're going to talk about managing the current work orders you have open and adding new work orders into Micromain. The first step is going to your work orders screen. You can find the shortcut in the center of your Micromain homepage. Once selected, it brings you to your work order list screen. This screen shows you basic work order information such as the work order number, the status, the shop and priority, the service and description, asset and location, and the work order type. On this same screen, you can also efficiently navigate it by choosing filters from this drop-down. Filters such as specific services, assets, phases of the work order, statuses of the work order, substatuses, types, priorities, and shops. These filters, once selected, can also be saved in the system and easily recalled for future use. On this main work order page, the user can also select a quick dashboard that gives them real-time information on work orders in their system. To open up a current work order in the system, you must select the work order number that is underlined on the left-hand side of the page. Once finished working in that work order, you can return by selecting the underlined work orders at the top of the screen. To add a new work order in the system, there is a new work order button. It's a green circle with a white plus symbol in the top right hand corner of your page. Select this. Now you can begin the work order process by selecting your shop, maintenance category, and of course your services and assets on that work order. On this page, you can also add any description notes for the technician. You'll notice once you've added a service and asset down here, a task will appear at the bottom of the screen. You'll see one task for each service or asset that's added to this work order. Before moving on, select a priority for your work order and fill any estimate time information to report against. Then hit Submit. Now you'll see your services and assets that were picked to begin the work order and you can begin planning it. To add labor, come to the Labor tab, select the Add Labor button on the right hand side of the screen. Now you have to select the task and labor that you want to assign to this work order. When adding any parts or documents, the Resources tab has the same button. It's an Add Part button. It's a green circle with a white plus symbol in the middle. When adding the part, you'll have to choose the task, the part, and the location that you're pulling the part from. Now that we've added labor to this work order and parts, we can issue it. It's ready to be worked on. Note that at this time you can also print the work order or add extra attachments to it. Once the work order has been issued, we're only waiting for the technician to fill in any comments that are necessary for it and to add time to the work order before completing it. To add time, Select the task at the bottom of the screen, go to the labor section, and type in the time required for this particular task. Hit the check mark, and then hit save. This will bring you right back to the work order record. Now you can select complete, and close your work order. To return to your main work order screen, once again at the top, select the underlined work orders. And to go back to your main Micromain home screen, you can always click this Micromain Global logo in the upper left hand corner. 
That concludes our video on how to successfully manage work orders in Micromain.